Welcome back to another special edition of the Hockey Nation Live Show. This is your coach, uh, the hockey coach guru, Coach Frenchie, back in the booth. Today we're going to talk about the post game in New York Islanders and the Tampa Bay Lightning game number two. We're going to talk about all the news around the NHL. And finally, we're going to talk about the pre-game Montreal Canadian your Bleu Blanc Rouge and of course the Vegas Golden Knight. So don't go nowhere. <music> Welcome back to another great video of the Hockey Nation Live Show. It's Wednesday, June 16. We have a couple hours before the game number two between the Montreal Canadian and the Vegas Golden Knight start. So we're going to talk about everything that's going on around the, the NHL, a couple of news, and then uh, hopefully you're going to enjoy it. And before we start, we always invite you, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, and of course, don't forget to make some comments after uh, you watch this video, because we're going to talk each other. I know we have one thing in common. We love the game. We are passionate about the game. So let's dive in right away about all the news going on around the league. First of all, let's start with the uh, post game at the New York calendars. And uh, yesterday it's happening between in uh, Tampa Bay. And the final score is 4-2 for the Tampa Bay Lightning. So you can see all the stats happening. First of all, let's dive in a bit about the score sheet. Uh, first of all, Brandon Point scored his 10 of the series. He's a number one with most goal since the beginning of the NHL playoff 2021. Kusharov got an assist. He was his first of the three of the night. An amazing, great performance on Nikita uh, Kusharov. And finally, Saval get an helper on that one over there. But a couple of minutes ago, uh, after Brock Nelson uh, score uh, for the New York Islanders tied the game one to one, it was the final score after one period. We have to go to the second period, and then the only one goal happening is Audrey Pallet score his third of the playoff at 13 15, gave the lead to the Tampa Bay uh, by one. It was 2 1 after two, and never happened again uh, for uh, Islanders come back because the New York and uh, the Tampa Bay Lightning. Score right away at the beginning of the third period. It was the first goal of the plus for Jan Ruta at 12, at 216. And at that moment, I'll be honest with you, this was over in my book. I did not see how the New York Islanders can come back during that game. And that's what happening because Victor Edmund scored his first also of the playoff at 917. Kushav is third assist point of the night. And Stan goes get a helper and finally. At the end of the game, uh, Matt, uh, Matthew Barzell scored for the New York Islanders to make the score 4-2 at 1644. Eberly, a lady, got an assist on that one over there. And uh, that was the final score, 4-2. Uh, the shot was 33 versus 26 for the Tampa Bay Lightnings. The face-off was 53-47, advantage the New York Islanders. Uh, the power play, both teams scored one goal. On the hit, 37-32, advantage the New York Islanders. The block shot, 16-8 for the New York Islanders. The minute of the penalty, 21 for New York Islanders uh, for the Tampa Bay Lightning and 33 for the New York Islanders. This was really uh, old uh, hockey uh, long time ago where they have a lot, of, uh, uh, a lot of fight. Not a fight, but a lot of pushing after each whistle. Uh, but uh, it was really an excited game for sure. I think for me, Allen don't have too many penalties. If they want to compete against Tampa, they cannot be in the penalty box more at three times. And then finally, the giveaway was four for both teams. The three star of the game, and Kusharov got the first star of the night with three assists. Vasilevsky got the second star of the night. And finally, Victor Edmund got the third star. For the leader, for the point for each team, and uh, first, it's uh, for the New York Islanders. Barzell got one point. Uh, like anybody else, I've also one point, to be honest with you. And then uh, Barzell also have three shots on resident ski. The TOI was 22-44 for uh, Nick uh, Lady. And then finally, uh, Valamar have a 0.858 uh, save percentage on the, uh, between the pipes. For the Tampa Bay, it's uh, Kusharov at three points with three assists. Palat. I have not 54, but five shots 
on the Valen I apologize for the mistake. McDonald played 24.05. Vesilevsky, same percentage of 9, 2, and 3. Again, the New York Islanders. Uh, if we move on to the next one here, it's a little bit give you a little bit every goal. It's a little bit new. We, pro we produce here, guys, with the flag, where the player is coming from. I'm not going to go uh, one by one, just give you an idea what we do. I, and also, I want to mention, you know, I really believe that New York Islanders cannot be in the penalty box. They have to play better. They have to be more smart uh, if they want to be the Tampa Bay. On the flip side, Tampa Bay guys stepped up a lot yesterday. Great opportunities. We know what happening at the middle of the first period where um, Brandon Point got pushed uh, by the defenseman. Final Islanders, they hit a uh, very big, hard collision between a point and Valama. Valama have to leave for the rest of the first period. Uh, Zoho Ken came back in the net, stopped all the six shots. But at the end of the day, uh, Valamov came back second, third period, and uh, he had a good game, but not good enough to give a W for the New York Islanders. Now the series is one to one. The next game is going to be Thursday night at 8 o'clock uh, Eastern time. We're going to be live at 7.45 to bring uh, the game on here on the Hockey Nation live show. Let's move on. The next thing we want to talk about is the Montreal Canadian and uh, all this for the preparation of the game tonight. So um, the game I want to talk about is this one over there. So far after one game, of course, it's easy to make some stats over there. The goal is 4-1. to one. The shot is 30-29, advantage Vegas. The power play 1-3, Montreal with 0-4 for Vegas. And the minute penalty 8, Montreal in 6-4, the Vegas Golden Knight. This gives you a little bit a better uh, graphics of what's going on between both teams. Of course, the game starts tonight at 9 o'clock. We're going to be live at 8.45. Uh, the last 10 games, both teams are 7-3 at home, 6-2 Vegas, Montreal away are 5-2 on power play. Uh, advantage Montreal Canadian at 20 versus 12 versus 5 on PK advantage, also Montreal Canadian at 91.4 versus 71 points. Oh, Montreal is number one right now in uh, NHL. The goals for advantage Vegas, they are uh, 4 versus 12. Now the goal again also advantage uh, Vegas, but pretty even. Uh, two point twenty nine for the Golden Knight and two point thirty three for the Montreal Canadiens. The shot for advantage uh, Vegas. They are nine versus twelve for Montreal Canadiens in any shot. Finally, the shot again. Um, Vegas is the number one at twenty six point one, and Montreal is fifth at thirty point eight. The leader for both teams. Let's start with the Montreal Canadiens. Tyler Toffoli have eleven points so far. Uh, Cook enemy and has four goals, but also other players have also four goals. Carey Price, AW, and Shea Weber have a 25-28 uh, TOI so far uh, in the NHL playoff. For the Vegas, Carlson have a point last game, so he's now at 12. Uh, Marcheseau are six goals, did not score last game. Uh, McCandy Fleury now have 9W, and finally Petrangelo have a, play, a TOI of 24 Oh, 06. Uh, let's move on to the next thing. What shopping up and uh, what you need to know. Uh, first, I uh, just want to remind you the game starts at 9 o'clock tonight in Vegas. The same goaltender is going to be between the pipe Price versus Fleury. The last game, five game, Montreal is 4 to 1. Uh, they gave um, 10 goals and they score 4 15. Uh, the power play pretty good at 25%. And uh, PK, amazing, 0 and 12 so they are 100 percent they're looking great price is 840 now and they have a 2.15 uh, say percentage nine two and nine the last five games to fully have six points zuski have two goals to fully have four assists petri is plus four uh and then finally uh what we expect for tragedies montreal is going to readjust what he saw at the beginning uh the first game number one so they're going to have readjust to apply what they should do to be better uh, accept the pressure of Vegas all the time on them. So we'll see what uh, Dominic Trump uh, will going to bring on the table for the game uh, number two between both teams. What I learned from game number one, that's what I love to do. I don't like prediction. I love analyzing game. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about if I was Vegas, what I learned uh, if I was a Vegas coach right now. I learned this. Montreal great offense around the net a lot. Vegas strong and neutral zone defense equally effective against a Montreal Canadian is a plus. 
as the president Jolo has been a same bagging. We know Alex have a struggle a lot during the season. Not a badly, but he did not play at the level he should play, he play right now. And that's why they signed him. That's why they want him to be. He's showing him more and more the series going longer. You can see President Jolo step up his game. Theodore has his confidence back. Theodore have only two points at the beginning of the two series. He's only got two points the last game, and then he stepped up more. Again, a Montreal Canadian with one goal, one assist. Number five, this will be the, the golden door duel between Price and Fleury. We expect, finally, a play with the lead will be the key. When you, you get the lead, you have to keep it, and you have to play properly uh, to have a better chance to win your W. The next one I want to talk about, of course, we're going to be live tonight at 8 30 pre game. And then, of course, we know the live streams, uh, the game starts at 9 08. So we're going to be there talking about the pre game, talking about different things around the league. So don't go nowhere. And finally, uh, good news for the Montreal Canadian fans and for Montreal Canadian players. The, Mont uh, the Department of the Health Service and Quebec Province of Quebec. Uh, announced they can now bring uh, 3,500 people inside the building. So one more thousand people going to be louder and louder inside the Central Bell. It's going to game for game number third and game number four. And finally, um, don't forget the game number three is going to be Friday night, June 18 at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time in Montreal. So that's conclude the post game, the pre-game for the Montreal Canadiens Vegas. Uh, Golden Knight for game number two. Let's jump in a little bit more about the news around the league. First of all, the Columbus Blue Jacket announced today. I'm going to read this. We have a lot of things going on. Um, the, uh, the general manager and associate governor, Jermo Gikalinen, announced several changes to the club op hockey operation department today. Rick Nash, ex uh, and players for them, has been promoted as director of player development. And Joseph Bonmendien, has been promoted director of pro scouting, while former Blue Jacket Derek Darzet and McLeatitus have been nom nom a development coach, and it's shown Brad Dyson has replaced Jim Corsi as a goaltending development coach. So the great news for the Columbus Blue, Ga Blue Jacket, we know Santa Torre is out. Now they are looking for bringing new, new people around, and that's what happening with the Blue, uh, Columbus Blue Jacket. The next one I want to talk about is uh, yesterday, as uh, during the game last night, NHL, they announced the winner of the Bill Besterdown uh, Trophy, and the winner is Oscar Langbaum. Uh, Blum, we know he's a Philadelphia Flyers forward. Uh, we know what happened a couple of years ago, uh, a couple of months, long time, 18 months ago, he got cancer, and he take he, now he's great, he's looking good, and he talked about what he took for him to join the cancer process until he get now uh, become uh, free. And a great story about him. But again, congratulations for the winner of the Bill Macedon, Mr. Oscar Langblom. The next one's about a senior sir. Uh, first of all, the Chicago Blackhawks signed uh, uh, for them the forward Jacob Poor has linked a two-year contract with the Black Chicago Blackhawks. It's a two-year entry-level deal at 842500 salary cap. Congratulations for him. For the New, York, uh, New Jersey Devils, they signed, uh, they resigned the forward Nathan Bastian, a two-year year contract. He played for the first year last year, his first full year as a rookie in NHL. It's going to be a two-year contract at one million point sixty-five hundred, and uh, that will apply, of course, on the AAV on breakdown at two years. First year at seven seventy-five, and the second year at eight seventy-five. Um, the the players Drew Shore uh, announced today he will on his Instagram account he's retired for the hockey to become an agent. He played 80, 98 game in NHL for Ford's friend team. So um, he's going to uh, now become a retire as a hockey professional player. It's another news. Finally, the last news of the day, the Winnipeg Jets. Uh, uh, now, now the Winnipeg Bell MTS plays to be renamed the Canada Live Sunt, July 1st, 2021. This marked the beginning of a 10 years sponsorship and branding agreement for the home of the Winnipeg Jets and also the Manitoba, Manitoba Moose. 
and downtown Winnipeg, Bell MTS will also remain as an official partner. So great news for the Winnipeg Jet to get a new sponsorship. And you can see it's called the Canada Live Center. Uh, finally, I just want to remind you, don't forget tonight, uh, or we are back for another live stream for the game number two between your Montreal Canadian and the Vegas Golden Knight. And uh, don't forget again to subscribe, to like, and to comment about this video. Finally, what we do at the end of each video, of course, you have what? Of course, you have greatness inside of you. Have an amazing, great day, everybody. And uh, I'll look forward to see you tonight. Bonne journée, mes amis. On se reparle un peu plus tard.